So when I was about two years old, three years old, and before I just, before I get into it, I just want to go ahead and say that this right here, the Most High Howell, he brought my mind into remembrance about a year ago, a year and a half is when I actually started remembering this. But what I'm about to tell you, this happened to me when I was about three years old, two years old, okay? I was still inside a playpen or cradle, whatever you want to call it. And I seen two of these golden seraphims right in front of me, okay? It was like fiery gold right in front of my eyes. And I was a little baby. Two of them. And they gave me this right here, okay? It wasn't a probe. It wasn't no alien device. It was a Murtau leaf, okay? So you're probably asking, oh, why am I bringing this out? Because earlier in my previous videos, towards that person, that individual, which those of you that have been watching, you already know who I'm talking about, okay? Because the problem with that person is that him, he's like a woman that cheated on you and trying to find an excuse, okay? An excuse why, why they cheated, you understand? So he can continue being the spiritual pilot that he is. I'm done with him. I will not mention his name again. So again, right? I have mentioned the fact how I see a light He's seeing darkness, which he can explain for himself. You understand that? I'm not going to spread his business out there. I said what I had to say about him, and I'm done. Well, I'm telling you what I saw. So this is why I say this is light. Because I've seen two golden seraphims, all right? Fiery, golden. And they gave me this myrtle leaf. And that was only about two and a half, three. So this is the reason why things that's going on right now in my life, in my shoes... And the things that the Most High Howard has revealed to me, this is why it makes perfect sense to me, you see? I'm not trying to play God, you see? I'm not trying to make myself be a king. I'm sincerely, sincerely doing what the Most High Howard has put me here to do. You understand that? To proclaim glory to his people. To those, to the chosen people who has been waiting for this. Because it's all about remembering, all right? So there's those that have been Remembering that their creator Yahweh, and that's what it's all about you see So I wanted to bring out that And I didn't want you you know, I didn't want to leave the brothers and sisters out there clueless Making you probably thinking that we're doing some kind of divination. I see light. He see dark. No, okay It was it was a simple, you know a vision that happened to me something that actually happened which he's he, he would call it a dream You see but it wasn't a dream because I'm telling you firsthand that it happened to me All right while I was conscious while I was still a baby, the Most High Howard brought this back into remembrance. Like I said, about a year, a year ago, a year, a year and a half ago. Sorry, okay, a year and a half ago, right after I left my so-called Hebrew Israelite camp. Okay, this is when all this came to pass. When I started remembering things. So again, right, the Most High's words, they don't lie. And for the sincere brothers and sisters that believe and understand this, that I'm not offering you bullshit, that I'm just simply doing what the Most High put me here to do. Then you know this words, these words are for you, because you're the believers. You're the ones who are going to be blessed. All right. So I want to bring out the Book of Enoch, chapter 104, and let's start at verse one. And it says, "It says here, sorry, I swear unto you that in heaven the angels remember you. See, because it's all about remembering Yahweh, the Creator, the creators of the angels. You see that? Because the Most High Yahweh, He is the Master of Spirits. You see, the Lord of Spirits, Yahweh." The everlasting God. I swear unto you that in heaven, the Alahayims, the angels, remember you for good before the glory of the Great One, which is Yahweh. And your names are written before the glory of the Great Ones, you see? So this is why Malachi chapter 3, verse 16 says, Then those who feared Yahweh talked with each other, and Yahweh listened and heard. A scroll of remembrance, see? There you go now. It's all about remembrance. A scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who feared Yahweh and honored his name. Verse 17. On the day when I act, says Yahweh Almighty, they will be my treasured possession. I will spare them, just as a father has compassion and spares his son who serves him. So again, let's read here. In Enoch 104, verse 1. I swear to you that in heaven the angels remember you 
for good before the glory of the great one and your names are written before the glory of the great one verse 2 be hopeful for a full time ye were put to shame through ill and affliction but now ye shall shine as the light of heaven and we can go ahead and bring out Daniel's chapter 12 verse 1 Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 at that time the great prince who protects your people will arise there will be a time of distress such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then but at that time your people everyone whose name is found written in the book will be delivered so guess what Michael was standing and like I said you don't see him like I always say you can't see him because guess what the Most High Yahweh he took that away from us once Adam sinned okay that's why Michael is your spirit prince and he's watching over right now this is the reason why the Most High Yahweh is letting us increase in wisdom knowledge and understanding because the Most High Yahweh told you that Mount Zion the place of remembrance his eyes are always on that his eyes are the angels okay they are his messengers whether you perceive it or not so this is what's going on right now Michael is keeping us blessed and the other angels they're doing their job the Most High Yahweh has his seven eyes on, on Mount Zion, okay? His throne. Mount Zion is his throne, okay? Mount Zion is his holy temple. Mount Zion is his sanctuary. There is nothing else. So let's continue here. Daniel 12 and 2. Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, right? Just like it says in uh, Isaiah 52, verse 1. So let's leave that there and let's go back to Daniel 12 and 2. Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. Isaiah 52 verse 1, Awake, awake, Zion, close yourself with strength. Put on your garments of splendor, Jerusalem, the holy city. You see that? Jerusalem, the holy city. This is Mount Zion, the sanctuary, the holy temple. See? Jerusalem, the holy city. So awake, awake, Zion, right? Awake, awake, Zion. This is what it means. Okay? The Most High Yahweh told you about the everlasting kingdom that was going to rise up in the midst of the fourth kingdom, right? Well, you forgot about that. So this is why you can't enter. Because you wasn't remembering about Zion, see? You didn't remember. So awake, awake, Zion. So those who remember Zion and their maker, right? Clothe yourself with strength. Those are the ones who's going to be able to enter Put on your garments of splendor. Jerusalem, the holy city. The uncircumcised and defiled will not enter you again. Verse 2. Shake off your dust. Rise up. Sit and throne Jerusalem. Again. The throne of Yahweh is Jerusalem. Mount Zion. Nothing else. No other temple. That's why the scripture says. Do not believe in deceptive words. And say. This is the temple of Yahweh, the temple of Yahweh. Why? Because the Most High Yahweh told you that he's sitting throne in Jerusalem, buddy, which is Mount Zion, the place of remembrance. So what are you doing? So it says, shake off your dust, rise up, sit in throne, Jerusalem, free yourself from the chains on your neck. No more spiritual oppression, no more emotional oppression, no more physical oppression, damn it. No more, none of that shit, okay? We serve Yahweh alone. We believe in his words. Not in another man's words and their understanding. Free yourselves, my people, from the chain on your neck. Daughter Zion, now a captive. You see that? You want to continue being a slave to your own sin, right? Because why? Because you want to continue rebelling against the word of the Most High. So you're going to continue being a captive, right? But the Most High, His righteousness is here. You just don't want it. That says free yourselves from the chain. Why continue? In vain labor why continue being a slave to what you or to what you believe in why verse 3 let's go ahead and show you verse 3 for this is what Yahweh says you were sold for nothing and without money you will be redeemed right without money you will be redeemed let's show you because it tells you right it simply tells you how you could be redeemed without money it simply tells you in Isaiah 55 and verse 1 come all you who are thirsty come to the waters and you who have no money come buy and eat come 
buy wine and milk without money and costs. You see that? So you don't want to. All right, you don't want to. You see what I'm saying? You want to still be a slave to your own sin, right? Well, that's fine. This is why Daniel 12 and 2 says, Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake. See, multitudes, doesn't matter how they look, how they speak, all different kinds of people are going to awake. Okay? It says, some to everlasting life. So guess what? Some, <laughs> some are going to cling on to Yahweh, the everlasting God. So that's why they're going to receive the everlasting life. Right? And then what it says here, others to shame and everlasting contempt. Because others want to go against the very words of Yahweh, their power, their creator, their savior. They must have a death wish. Okay? So again, everlasting contempt for those people. So let's continue reading over here in the book of Enoch. Chapter 104. And let's go to let's go to verse 3. Sorry, verse 2. It says, Be hopeful. For a full time, you were put to shame through ill and affliction, right? Just how it says right here. Isaiah 52 and 2. Shake off your dust. Rise up. Sit in throne, Jerusalem. Free yourself from the chains on your neck. Daughter Zion, now a captive. So let's continue reading here. For a full time, you were put to shame through ill and affliction. But now, ye shall shine as the lights of heaven. Ye shall shine, and ye shall be seen. And the portals of heaven, right? Look what it says here now. The portals of heaven shall be open to you. Well, let's go ahead and match that scripture with this right here. Because the Most High Yahweh talked about that. And it's happening right now. Malachi chapter 3, verse 10. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this says Yahweh Almighty and see if I would not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there would not be room enough to store it you see so the Most High Yahweh says those of you that stole his words right those of you that took his holy sacred knowledge right and you claim it for yourself you think you're God right well guess what he said bring it back now if you bring it back he'll pour out the blessings he'll open the floodgates of heaven he said, test me in this, he says, right? This is why the Most High Yahweh says that they even test God to his face, okay? You can look for it. It's a scripture that tells you that. They even test God to his face. So the Most High Yahweh is telling you, test me in this, okay? This is why it tells you in Isaiah 55, verse 1, Come, all you who are thirsty. See, test me in this. The Most High Yahweh, he's not lying. You think he's a God that lies? Are you stupid? So again, right? Enoch, first Enoch, 104, verse 2. And let's read this portion here. So it says, And the portals of heaven shall be opened to you. Verse 3. And in your cry, cry for judgment, and it shall appear to you. For all your tribulation shall be visited under rulers. Right? <laughs> the, the wicked kings of the earth, right? King Amalek, the Rothschilds. Rockefeller, Queen Elizabeth, right? All these big bankers, all the big bad wolf visited on the rulers and on all who helped those who plundered you. Verse 4, be hopeful. Oh my gosh, see that? So be hopeful. So right now we're supposed to be living in this time. Be hopeful. We're supposed to be cheering. We're supposed to be happy. But there's people out there, they don't want you to be hopeful, no. They want you to be oppressed. See? Because they're oppressed, because they are slaves to their own sins, so now they want to bring you down with them. But it's telling you here, be hopeful and cast not away your hopes. You see that? Again, this is a wicked society, a wicked generation that's seeking for sign like Jonah. They're waiting to see something. So it says, and cast not away your hopes. You see? So don't go putting your hopes in Jebus. Don't go putting your hopes in anything else. Put your hope in the Most High Yahweh. Serve Him wholeheartedly. Be hopeful. And cast not away your hopes. For ye shall have great joy as the angels of heaven. See? For ye shall have great joy as the angels of heaven. Let's go ahead and show you something here, right? You shall have great joy as the angels of heaven, right? This is why this scripture is here. Let's go ahead and bring it up. Zechariah 12 and 8. 
on that day which many times I brought out in my previous videos one day to Yahweh is a thousand years to us so look at look at this here it says on that day at that time Yahweh will shield those who live in Jerusalem his holy city right Mount Zion so that the feeblest among them will be like David everybody want to be like David right but guess what the most high Yahweh said everybody who dwells in Mount Zion they are like David so why are you trying to fight over it man all right, if you get your shit right, you can be like David without you having to try hard. And look what it says. And the house of David will be like Allah Hayams, will be like angels. See? Why? Because we're going to be sharing the same joy. Like the angel of Yahweh going before them. Like it says. Right here in Enoch. All right? Like it says. Let's go ahead and continue reading. So it says, verse 4, Enoch 104, verse 4, Be hopeful and cast not away your hopes. For ye shall have great joy as the angels of heaven. And we just read that, okay? With Zechariah 12 and 8. This this is the time we're living in right now. The Most High Yahweh, He's shielding us. He got His eyes protecting us. All right? This is why it's telling you, be hopeful. Cast not away your hopes. You understand that? Cheer. Be, you know, be glad that the Most High is doing this right now. Because soon our salvation is coming. Believe it or not. This is why you have to believe. It's all about believing now. So verse 5, what shall ye be obligate to do? Ye shall have, sorry, ye shall not have to hide on the day of great wrath and judgment. And ye shall not be found as sinners. You see this? Why? Because the Most High Yahweh, He is our Savior. Only He blots out your transgression, not another man. Okay? The Most High Yahweh. Is our savior so look what it says again ye shall not have to hide on the on the sorry on the day of great judgment and ye shall not be found as sinners this is why we depart when we see evil okay we depart when we see evil so look what it says and the eternal judgment shall be far from you from all the generations of the world verse 6 and now Fear not, ye righteous. Who are the righteous? Those who follow the righteous ways of Yahweh alone. Those who believe in the righteous words of Yahweh that never lie, that never prove to be wrong. Okay, like it says, everybody else will wear out like a garment, but the Most High's righteousness, His salvation, will never wear out. So look what it says. When ye see the sinners growing strong and prospering in their ways, be not companion with them. Again, we depart with these people, right? When you see the sinners growing strong, right? This is why the Most High Yahweh told you that your rich men, they are violent. Because they grew strong. All this wisdom and knowledge, right? Sour grapes, sour grapes. They are drunken with madness. So look what it says. When you see the sinners growing strong and prospering in their ways, be not companion with them. But keep far from their violence. See? Again, the scriptures say that all of your mighty men have become violent. What do you think the Most High Yahweh is doing this now? Okay? Because you people out there are not allowed in here. You see? The Most High Yahweh says that the city was full of bloodshed. This is why this is happening. This is why the scripture says that death has climbed up to our windows. Because you people look for it, you see? You kept testing the Most High. All of you ungodly prophets and priests, you want to keep on misleading his people. This is why he said that his own arm had to basically find salvation for him. Okay? His own arm, his own messenger, his own angel. Because he looked from the heaven and there was nobody. So again, it says, But keep afar from their violence, for ye shall become companions of the host of heavens. You see? As it is now. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 8. On that day, Yahweh will shield those who live in Jerusalem, so that the feeblest among them will be like David, and the house of David will be like angels, like the angel of Yahweh going before them. So the words of the Most High, they are being played out right before our eyes. Okay? This is why the Most High Yahweh tells you, but keep far away from their violence, you see, because if you're part of their violence and you're following their path, and you're not going to understand the goodness of the Most High and the things that He has done for you and your family. 